In this video, we're gonna be looking at misalignments on the actual patient. Our patient comes into the optical and how we could tell which misalignment they have and how to align them. We must remember all patients are different, we are not symmetrical, and we are all uneven in our own special way. Okay, so the first misalignment that we have, it's gonna be the skewed bridge. The skewed bridge right here, okay? The screw bridge is a horizontal alignment and it can only be seen through the front of the patient. So we're not gonna be looking through it from the top side, but through the front of the patient. So if I put the lenses on, our, on my patient, if my patient comes in and I see this on their glasses, I can notice that. If I look at it through the front, this side of the lens is lower and this side is higher. If I'm looking at it from the front on the bridge, I'm noticing that this side of the bridge, it's higher than this side. So I remove the patient, the glasses from the patient. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my hands as a tool and the lens that is furthest away from me, I'm gonna pull it towards me really, really hard. And the lens that is closest to me, I'm gonna put further away. I'm gonna put a lot of pressure, but not so much pressure that it actually breaks the frame. So we're gonna... this okay that's a lot better i'm gonna do a little bit more okay i check it has a little bit of temple parallelism but at this moment we're just aligning the skewed bridge okay now the bridge looks a lot better. Now it doesn't look skewed at all. That was the first misalignment. The second misalignment that we're gonna be talking about is gonna be the rotated lens. The rotated lens is also a horizontal alignment. Okay, it can only be seen through the front. And what we could see when I put it on the patient is is that one lens looks like it's not aligned with the actual eye, eye wire of the frame, okay? We could see that this lens, it's nasally, and this lens is normal. This misalignment also affects the temples, as you can see, but um, we're gonna be working on the lens only, not the temple. We're gonna be using the lens the rotating lens plier, okay? We're gonna be holding the actual lens like this really hard. We're gonna be holding it with our fingers tight on the side that we're gonna be moving it towards. On this side, since the lens is rotated nasally, we're gonna twist it, rotate it uh, temperly. Okay, so let's see. Okay, that's a lot better. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Press hard. Okay. Now when I put it on the actual patient, it looks a lot better. Okay, I'm looking at it through the front because it is a horizontal alignment. And it's good now. And that was rotated lens misalignment. The next misalignment that we're gonna be working on, it's gonna be face Face for face for misalignment. Okay, so the first thing is the patient comes into the store, into the optical, and we notice that the glasses don't even fit. They're too far apart. Okay, we notice that this we notice that this is a vertical alignment. Okay, and we look at it from the top side, top view going to the bottom. We notice that the lens is actually moving outwards like this. We take our ruler and we check for the four points on the eye wire, okay? I'm gonna check on this side. So I see that it does touch two points. It does touch two points, but it only touches the two points on the temporal side of the frame. And normally it's supposed to touch either four if it has no face front or the two temporal sides if it has um, positive face form. 
this tells me that it has negative face form. Okay, in order to fix that, I'm gonna be using my hands as a tool. I am gonna be closing it. I'm gonna be closing the, the frame okay, because this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna be closing the frames. I'm gonna be grabbing hard in the middle of the eye wire right here. And I'm just gonna be closing it. I'm gonna be closing it just a little bit. Okay. The lens popped out, so we must put it back. Okay, there. So let's fix. Okay. Okay. So it didn't come out as good as I expected it. So we must fix that. Okay, now it's looking a lot better. I am gonna give it a little bit of a face form. There, not too much. Okay. I'm gonna check it with my ruler again to see what type of face form does it have, whether it has positive or negative. So now I see that it has a positive face form. It has a positive face form. I put it, place it on the patient once more. Now it's better. Now it stays on the patient. It doesn't fall down. Now it's good. That was face form misalignment. And we used um, our fingers, our hands as a tool, and we did a four point touch. The next misalignment is gonna be coplanar. Coplanar is whenever the lenses are not on the same plane. So just by looking at so just by looking at this lens, this frame, I noticed that this lens is much forward. It's more frontward than this one. This one's a little bit more farther back. When the patient comes into the office, I notice that, I notice that one lens is it's closer to, the, to their eyes and one lens is further away from their eyes or from their eyebrows. It's also a little bit thin it's also a little bit tilted, but that's not what we're going to be worrying about in this case. But we could notice that one lens, looking at it from the top to the bottom, we notice that this lens is more forward, this lens is more back. So in order to fix that, I remove the glasses, and I'm going to be using my hands as a tool. I'm going to hold it really hard here from the bridge area, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the lens that is closer to me back, and I am going to pull the lens that is further from me forward. So this is what I'm gonna do. Put in pressure with my hands and I'm gonna double check to see if everything is good. Here's my ruler. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more. Okay, that's a lot better. Now, if I notice it from the top, I could see that it's all aligned. So now there's no more coplanar misalignment. Now it's good. The last misalignment in this video, we're gonna be talking about this misalignment. So this is, this is the Xing misalignment, which means that the actual frame, the frame bridge, the bridge, the middle of the bridge is twisted, okay? Twisted making an X type of view right there, an X, see? Like an X type of view if you look at it from the side. And whenever we do, it affects also the temples right here. And if we put it on the patient, if our patient does come in, we're gonna notice that, we're gonna notice that one lens, so since this one we notice that this, I know if I look at it, I notice that this lens is closer to the eye on the top side or to the eyebrow. Oops. This lens is closer to the eye or to the eyebrow and it's further away from the bottom side. And this lens is further away from the eyebrow or the eyes and it's closer to the bottom or the cheek of the patient. Okay. In order to fix that, what I gotta do is I have to twist it. So I'm gonna do this type of motion. I'm gonna grab the lenses, I'm gonna use my hands as a tool, and I'm just gonna twist it. I'm gonna grab it, and I'm gonna twist it. 
I'm gonna twist it. Now I did too much, so I'm gonna pull it back like that. A little bit more. And that's a lot better. Okay, so that's a lot better. So the Xing is removed. So it does have, see, the Xing is removed. It does have a little bit of tempo parallelism, but we are not gonna be fixing that misalignment on this video. That's gonna be in another video. But now it's a lot better on the patient. And the X misalignment, it's pretty much non-existing now. Okay, that was fixing, mis fixing the misalignment Xing on the patient.